In this video I want to talk about some more um, understandings of uh, three-dimensional to fifth-dimensional shift. Now this one I want to talk about one of the most important aspects that you will um, not so much the shifting but the differences between three-dimension and fifth-dimension and, and, and this one aspect of, of the shift of this. What it is is the, um, the time it takes to manifest your reality, to manifest um, what you focus on. In a fifth dimensional reality, what you focus on will come much quicker and faster than it did in a three dimensional reality. In a three dimensional reality, you would focus at something, but it take a long, long time for it to manifest become your reality. Um, when I would I do hypnosis uh, and it when you do hypnosis on somebody it starts immediately. If you do self-hypnosis, um, uh, Dean Deepak Chopra talks about this or uh, any hypnotherapist, uh, hypnotist teaches you um, self-hypnosis uh, it takes 21 days to take effect, or longer if if you do, if you miss a few days in, you know, in the in your self hypnosis, and just just focusing at what you're doing will it could take months uh, to manifest, and you would never really see the results, so you never really realize that you were actually creating your reality. Um, I had done a lot of lots of different things and I had lots of relatives and people around me that were business people and very successful people all my life I met half a million people but a lot of the more successful people were really focused on what they did and they had achieved what they wanted to achieve but they kept focusing at it but it took a long time and you know you have your ups and downs you know two steps forward one step back and then you have all the other parts of government and television and all these other things as distractions that you know kind of delay um, your manifestation especially in a three-dimensional reality in a fifth dimensional reality what you focus at will develop quicker and faster than than it did um, in a, uh, in a three-dimensional reality and it will go and it will it's really quite fast in some aspects of things and maybe other things it's not because now when you're in a fifth dimensional reality many things manifest quicker and faster but you have more things kind of to think about and it's more some things are very simple but things are more complex it's like the idea right now when you look back say 20 or 30 years ago uh, when I grew up we when I was very young I had one TV station. Next thing you had three or four. Well, now you got hundreds of TV stations. We didn't have computers. Um, now you have uh, like cell phones, video games, texting, all these different things. So now you think about all these other things. Now, whatever you focus at, you can manifest quicker if this is what your reality, what you want to create. But you still have more distractions on a higher dimensional level. So the idea is you manifest things faster. The other thing is time is shorter. You have less time. Uh, we're already on like, I don't know, almost like a 12 hour day as opposed to a 24 hour day 30 years ago or 50 years ago, say. So time shorter, but we live longer. And I'll get into healing videos. I have many other videos explaining all about extraterrestrials, other universes how to be tele tele telepathic, all kinds of different things. So, another thing that will, people who, you'll notice the big difference if you look around, you can see it very, very easily that what I'm talking about is, is, uh, is, is true and is happening, is the older, the people who were in three-dimensional reality, and most people are fourth-dimensional now, on their way to be fifth dimensional as we shift to shift to shift to shift especially the young people coming are shifting bigger better faster than you know the old older people um, I say older as in you know especially 
over 60, it's harder for them to grasp some of these ideas of this shifting and of this ascension. But some of the people who were what you would say um, the king of 3D, the kings and queens, the masters of 3D, the masters of 3D reality, the mana master manipulators, the master power over others, the masters of, of it. The idea of people with money, power, and control, the people who learn to master the 3D game and, and be king of the castle, to be king of three-dimensional reality, which is, is silly, silly nonsense. Three-dimensional earth, the idea of money and greed and power and manipulation and power and control over others is the silliest, goofiest idea in all of creation. But the people who were... Um, who had power over others had enough power and influence and money to always keep manipulating the things, manipulating and paying the news media, paying lawyers, keep creating new distractions so you would stop thinking about their old manipulations and you got something new to think about and you just get lost in the whole thing. But they had a lot of time on their hands to do this because this is how three-dimensional reality works. Now what's happening, and this is a pointer for all um, all of uh, for people to understand uh, the old ways and for all the people in the old ways to understand where you're going wrong and how you can change things you know because what happens and I'll just explain it very simply it's like a boomerang okay you throw it out it goes around around and around and around you get ready to set it's coming back around you get all set up and you get ready and, and you catch it okay so the more you were better at playing that game, catching the boomerang, the more you were the king or the queen or the, the masters, let's say, of three-dimensional reality. Now what happens is you throw the people who are used to three-dimensional reality, they throw out the boomerang, but now time goes faster. And it goes around and around, and it comes back. And they almost missed catching it. But what happens now as we get to more fifth dimensional reality and more and more people shift, they throw it out, whack! It hits them in the head. They don't even have time to even know what's going on anymore. And you can see this especially in the American election. You don't have to be very intelligent to see what was happening, what's going on there. And, uh, and you know, I can get into all the details about everything. I'm, you know, I'm, 5D, 5th dimensional, 8th dimensional, I <laughs> get all the details of every little thing that happened. But you can see what happened there that anybody trying to do these old ways of uh, three dimensional reality, uh, how it comes, it comes back at them really quick. So people who are manifesting in a 5th dimensional reality, they want to manifest, you know, I'm in love with everything, everything's amazing, everything's wonderful, they're just happy about everything, and, you know, they don't have all those old ideas of fear, power, manipulation, control, jealousy, all the ego-based things and all that stuff. So they don't, you, you don't have people trying to steal anymore. You don't have people really, like, lying anymore. At least over simple things, anyway. And, you know, so all these things go faster. So this is a pointer for all of you to understand this, especially some of the people who are rich and were used to manipulation and control in a, the old way to realize it doesn't work anymore because it's just going to come back and whack you in the head, you know? Going to come back faster than you think. So when you realize this, you say, okay, well, it's a new game, all right? How do we play this? Well, I have lots of videos under explaining all these things. Higher dimensional law, um, all kinds of different ones on business and lots of them to make yet on some of these ideas of, of how you know, people choose to, how you choose to market and sell a product, um, what people are wanting to buy. And I think a lot of businesses are starting to realize this, but if you don't really catch up really, really fast, you're going to really be behind the eight ball, and you're going to be like Kodak Eastman. You're just going to be right out of business. You know, people want to eat healthy food. They know that a lot of pharmaceutical drugs are bad for you. They know that a lot of different things are good for healing. You know, Dr. Raw Rife, uh, you know, with... Um, bioresonance healing. There's lots of stuff. You know, I had cancer before. I, I, all I did uh, uh, was rub cod liver oil on it on skin cancer and it just fell off. 
So there's all kinds of these things, but you know, you have a you know toxic waste dump when you're eating all these these foods, and uh, the air we breathe, everything else. It's killing planet Earth, but it's killing us. We're all sick in the hospital, and it don't matter how much money and power you have, you're sick. You, you know, you buy the best, you, you pay money for the best doctors, but they really don't know anything. So fifth dimension, we live longer because um, we understand uh, the any the energy reactions in our body, how we shape everything. And I have many videos to explain all this, especially watch the movie The Secret is a good basis. I have um, I have one called uh, Manifestation um, on the Galactic Ambassador and it explains um, manifestation because this is this is holographic. And if I have to I can go to court, I can prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is holographic. Lots of people are proving this in so many different ways and this so you know when you watch the movie like The Secret it teaches you uh, explains how you manifest your reality because this is created as an amusement park for us to create realities for our amusement to just have pure enjoyment you know so it's about the speed of manifestation this is uh, what I'm trying to explain in this video um, so I have lots of other ones Hope you watch them. It'll help you understand all the different things you're going through, especially right now. Some of the ones right at this moment for most of you will be synchronicities. And this is uh, the start of your awakening to a higher conscious level. Thank you.